Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another install video. This time we're gonna be installing a bunch of carbon fiber guards on this FE350S. I hope you guys enjoy the video, so stick around. This is the main reason that we started even thinking about installing guards because we have both burnt our motorcycle pants on this exhaust but since kyle was already on the website for pro carbon racing he bought a bunch of other parts a bunch of guards they're all basically guards for the bike here they are and we will be installing them today so here is the exhaust cover um, comes with instructions and uh, some clamps so we'll get started Here's the instructions. It says bolt the guard in place of the stock item using fitting supplied and then use a thread locking compound. You have to run the engine to thoroughly heat the guard. This may initially cause the guard to soften, allow the guard to go cold. Then repeat the steps. The resin in the guard should now be fully cured and be able to withstand the exhaust temperatures. Try to avoid excessive time sitting with the engine running as there will be a heat buildup in the pipe with no airflow. So it just has basically hose clamps that you hose clamp into here and then you're gonna wrap it around the pipe. So one, two, three. There's four hose clamps for this. So you have to completely undo them first. That's what Kyle is doing right now. There's a little disclosure here saying at some point you will need to remove the guard for cleaning so ensure that when you're refitting it there is an air gap all the way around and no contact with the pipe. So Kyle is putting all the clamps onto the brackets here. Kind of work to get them in there. Yeah, because of the curve. We really hope that this actually does the trick and it stops burning our gear because the last time we went riding his pants were actually on fire. I, I felt something hot on my leg and I looked down and the rabbit pants were literally melted and stringy and just uh, smoking. And then... <laughs> I really hope that this actually works because um, these motorcycle gears they're not cheap and we didn't get them for free we paid full price for them and to have them burnt up like that was just like really heartbreaking okay we are not gonna put thread lockers on it <laughs> i really don't think it matters uh, but the instruction says to put thread locking compound so um, it's up to you guys whether you want to follow the instructions or not but uh, for these purposes, uh, we're, we're not going to do thread locker. I, in my experience uh, with hose clamps, I've never had them loosen up. So I, I, don't, I don't see the need, the need to do it. I guess I'll find out. And if it loosens up, you guys will know about it. So all good. Here's the first go around. You have to, it's a little tricky because of the spring for the exhaust. So we put it right here. And you have to make sure that there's space between the actual the shield and the exhaust and we're gonna heat it up now so we're gonna run the bike just as the instruction says so while we are letting the exhaust cool down because it's really hot right now we are going to install the skid plate so this skid plate same brand everything is actually the same brand as mentioned earlier it didn't come with instructions, but it's pretty straightforward. I think 
I'm just gonna remove the stock uh, skid plate and replace it with this. So it comes with this mounting bracket, a couple washers, um, and do you have the other bolt, Kyle? Yep. There should be two it's bolts. A 10. Okay, it uses a 10 uh, socket, 10 millimeter. Yep. Okay, take it out. There's two bolts there. And here's the thing. I hope that we can remove it because last time, remember, we had to we had to install it while the bike is laying sideways for some reason. Uh, this one, I think, uses a slightly different clamp. I know. I, I just saw it. But I meant, I hope we can remove the stock one. Oh, yeah. It was so hard to get off. Yeah. Remember, if you guys watched the video about the oil change where it has to be on its side, we had to remove this when it's sideways and also reinstall it while the bike is sideways. Oh, that one came off easy. It, came, it comes off easy, but getting it back on. Yeah, it's like you almost need to have it sideways. So this one, you're going to have to install the bracket first, but size it up first on here. Be careful not to touch anything because the engine is hot. Oh, so much easier. There. Um, so it you will have to put the bracket somewhere there so that this this is gonna go this is what we have to figure out this i think goes here on the inside i think yeah by the way we are not sponsored by pro carbon we do not have any sponsorship just fyi no i was just it was like 11 o'clock at night and i was on their website buying an exhaust guard and they had a recommended product section for the FE350 and at, at checkout they were like, would you like to buy anything else? And I was like, yes, yes I would. And so I ended up just buying all of it. So I, what I think happens is I think this is supposed to latch on to the behind oh. here, to the back of this. Oh, so it's, that, like a, it's like I pulling see. it tight yep, kind of. Yep. Which is going to be a little difficult because the bike is hot from the exhaust guard install. Yeah, but we'll make it happen. Uh, okay. So that bracket needs to sit like this. And theoretically, you would do this when the engine is cold, but we just did this install, and this is the first heat up round, and this is the first cool down round. We actually still have to heat it up again according to the instructions. And we are using blue thread locker on the bolt. This is, uh, once again, a 10 millimeter. Kyle is just being careful not to burn himself because this exhaust is still hot. Oops, I need the... The 10, yeah. The 8 was for the stock bolt. Oh, shoot. You got it. Okay, now let's get this other one. Yeah, blue thread locker, that way you can still break it with a socket wrench. But you don't want it falling off when the bike is rattling, especially for thumpers. It's so easy to just shake all the bolts off. And especially because this bike is mostly used off-road. So just tighten those two, make it snug. Don't want to break the carbon fiber as well so just make sure it's just snug because otherwise you can crack it. So um, the instruction said to be very careful about tightening carbon fiber while it's hot too. Yeah. Which I didn't know that so. What's next Kyle? Uh, the swing arm covers. There you just go. stick it on huh? I guess so. <laughs> Not sure if that's a guard or just for style. <laughs> Well, I suppose if you silicone. crash it on rocks, it'll stop it from gouging. I guess. Okay, silicone glue. You gotta apply it on the edges, stick it in there. Yeah, half a tube per plate. It's a good assumption. So that, that edge there, that's where it sits. That edge, okay. All right. Okay, make sure you don't run out. Just do the edges. Don't squiggle it. You can squiggle it if we have 
excess but we don't have excess silicone glue it would be nice to squiggle it but we're afraid we're gonna run out of glue here remember that the this ridge here not this yep right there gosh just wiggle it a little yeah <laughs> I like the bling. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have bought it. We'll do a temperature check on the exhaust to see if we can do a second round of heating. So while we are waiting for <laughs> these zip tie things to cure and this to cool down, is it time to heat it up again? You oh, think? Yeah, it is. We yeah. should heat it up. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we're gonna heat it up first. That way it has time to cool down again and we can see if it molded correctly. While we're waiting for the exhaust to cool down, Kyle is testing to see if it will burn his pants some more. They're already ruined, so I thought, what the hell, I'll just see if I can burn them again. But no, I mean, I've been holding them here for like 30 seconds and it's nothing, that, right? nothing. The, yeah. look look what happened before so that's what happened before the guard was installed mine is similar except it's not as bad because i i wear the i wear the tall adventure boots and he usually just wear his dewalt boots when he rides even though he has motorcycle boots so there's no way for him to tuck in the pants what happened was when I saw mine got burnt, I just folded it, I tucked it into my boot and then it stopped burning my pants because it doesn't burn my boot. However, he didn't have that option and we were riding all day. So yeah, that happened. Next, we have the four upper fork guards. And this one is really funny because really you literally just zip tie it together. You install one zip tie on the bottom, like Kyle's doing right now. See, we're halfway done. <laughs> Next is just a zip tie up top. I think they're all decorative except for the exhaust. That's the only thing I asked him to buy and then he bought all this other stuff. Look at that 701 over there, just being a trooper. So just zip tying the other side too, then we'll be all set. Of course, we just obviously cut the excess off with wire cutters okay what's next we have the upper top fork protectors which go right That's here totally not protectors obviously decorative same thing you're gonna just zip tie it top and bottom yeah I think you're gonna have to undo that it looks like you just pull it it's what holds the uh headlight together yeah no it's so simple isn't it then there you go thank you okay here i got it my hands are small now let's move to the other side okay go ahead put it here there we go there. so next we have here the radiator guards and they are to be held together to be installed with uh, silicone glue we have to tape it so that the glue has time to cure and stick properly Applying the silicone glue. Remember, just on the edges. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to run out this you time. You don't want to run out. There. Stop. <laughs> Save it for the other one. Nope. Yeah, just put it on here. Yeah, just leave it like that. Yeah. There. Okay. That's it. Yeah, you just don't want it to fall off. We're doing the other side now. 
See, in these tubes, there's a giant air bubble, and so you're like, oh yeah, I have plenty. There's two no. giant air bubbles. Just sticking that one in too. So uh, we've installed it once, light, or I guess moderate tightness. Um, we heated it up, let it cool down, heated it up, let it cool down, and now we're just gonna go back and moderately tighten everything again. There's just four hose clamps. Remember that you're tightening it, but you're making sure that it's not touching the exhaust, that the body of the carbon fiber is not actually on the exhaust. Lastly, we have here the rotor guard, but in order to install it, we're going to have to remove the wheel off this motorcycle.